2024 Le Mans, 24 hours, 101 years since the first ever Grand Prix and Durance in the centre of France. This is the most prestigious uh, endurance race in the world. It's, uh, it's amazing to be here. The, the atmosphere is electric. Uh, our team and drivers are ready to go. We've been at it for the better part of over a week, so the anticipation is building and uh, I think we're just ready to get in the car and go race. Personally, the 24 hours of the month for me is, is the main race. It's the biggest race uh, of all. Uh, it was always a dream of mine um, to come and attend it, let alone work it as well as a kid. And it's just epic to, to see these cars racing for 24 hours absolutely flat out. Um, it's some of the best racing, if not the best racing, uh, on the planet. Yeah, obviously my first Le Mans. Um, obviously my first race as well on a prototype, so a bit of a Bit of a throwing into the deep end here for me, but um, definitely a special race. The prototype's a bit more physical than what I'm used to on the neck and upper body. Try to try to get as slim as I could for this, and uh, yeah, see what happens now. So it's my second time in the one. It's great to be here. It's one of the most special events of the year. Um, awesome to be racing here. Such a special atmosphere, and to do all of these things in the town and see all the fans is amazing. Can't wait to be on track and see everyone cheering us on from tomorrow. The planning for Le Mans started the day we finished the race last year. We will push, we will manage the drivers and we will do the best we can to finish on the podium. Great night, and a very, very poor one to be honest. A bit disappointed. Both cars went two laps down straight away, very early on, and we had good pace. We've been trying with the 25 to get two laps back, and we've just been unsuccessful every time we get the safety guard. Doesn't really help us enough. Uh, and in the night, with a team, we with a 40 to 45 Crown Strike car, we made an awful blunder in a pit stop, and it's it's really unlike us. We lost a rear wheel as the car came out of the pits. We weren't able to get a perfectly good race car back to the pits and put the wheel back on. So we had to retire, which is heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Uh, but, you know, somebody said to me, you know, you win as a team and you lose. We won with that car last year. And we came here really thinking we'd be strong. You know, there's been some unreal conditions during the night. The rain, the ice, oh, and the a really strange Le Mans. Hugs. 
been obviously quite difficult with the weather conditions. It's been dry, wet, dry, wet, slightly wet, slightly dry, uh, changing all around. Uh, but I think we, we overall got the strategy calls pretty right all the time and managed to keep it on track. But uh, so did a lot of our competitors. And with how tight it is in LMP2, after we lost uh, those two laps in the first half hour of the race, it was really difficult to catch up. That's how it goes. And uh, it's the most 24 hours. And uh, yeah. Not this year, we'll try again.